Hey everyone, welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we are very happy to see you here today. <laughs> uh, we are working on uh, one of Allison's beautiful projects. It's Jenny Doan's Star from Jenny Doan uh, Missouri Star Quilt Company and it is a stunning quilt. So we're just going to get going here uh, and start quilting. So we've done a swirl in the center. We're using a green mist thread for the outside border here and we used uh, bone white for the center. And we did a lovely uh, eddies edge to edge with a swirl and it, uh, it looks really nice, really, really nice. I, I, I love the color and I love um, how it actually looks too. And the fabric, this white fabric is so cute. It's got like all sorts of just, you name it, it's on here. Hopefully you get a chance to actually really kids. There's rainbows and big thimbles and a cupcake and a peace symbol with a plane in it and, and like a, a spade and an eye and a butterfly and a moth and just like, just anything, like a pear. It's just, it's like random things. I, I really like the fabric. Really, it's like, hmm. It just literally has everything on it. So it looks really nice. Um, so yeah, we did, I did this, uh, it's the border that I'm stitching out in is called cable border. It's, it's not a swirl cause I just want to keep the swirl to the inside of the, the quilt here, just from the uh, white from the edge to the edge and then do something a little bit different in the, um, the border part. So we chose a cable. I hadn't used this stitch out before and I really like it. It's really quite pretty. Nope. Oh, there's nothing there. So there was something in the way. No, there wasn't. <laughs> so this is uh, the third border to do. I have one more that's on the other side of this. So what I've done is I have loaded the quilt top from here to here uh, when it was loaded this way. Did the border, the center, and then the border, and then took it off and and then repinned it in the other direction so I can work on these borders as a whole and then just work my way down. So it's really just this border and then the next border. And then this project is done. And it's been definitely a lot of fun to work with. I really like this fabric here. It's got like, it's cross stitched. Like it's got little tiny X's. So it is really pretty. There's a lot of movement in it. And there's a lot of, in the fabric here, there's, um, um, and it's all like critters. It's like what's in the, what's printed in here sort of thing. Cause there's flowers and you, you see everything. It's pretty. There's pink and blue here too. I think there's other colors. But, and really nice bright uh, backing. It's got some orange and uh, blue to it. It's really, it's very cheerful and bright. Of course it's gonna be a pain today. No, it's, uh, it's actually been really nice since uh, the hurricane came through temperature wise. I mean, we did have a couple of nights of frost, uh, but that's to be expected. It is October and uh, we are coming up on Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada. So we're very excited to have our turkey this weekend. Turkey, turkey, turkey. I love me a turkey. So, and when you cook your turkey, what do you do with it? Do you oven it? Do you uh, deep fry it? Do you, well, what's, what's your preferred turkey cook? We like ours, just roasting ours in the oven. We have smoked a turkey before. We didn't like it. I think if you do a smoked turkey, you have to do different traditional dishes because I don't think the smokeness goes with our traditional dish. You know, it just didn't, it didn't seem to go well. But that, and then we were all in agreement to that. The, tr the, the turkey was fine, like, it, but it just, it just didn't, you know, go with our cranberry and at least that we thought anyways. Maybe it could have been the wood we smoked it with, but. Okay. So now that is done. Okay. And then what we do is we will unclip the sides and roll to the other border. Okay. Righty. Do. I did actually have to have the heat on in the shop. I was like, no, not so soon. So you can see the backing there. Isn't it gorgeous? Love it. Beautiful choice, Miss Allison. Beautiful choice. So now we're just going to roll it. See, now you get to see how pretty this quilt is. Oh, they got the green fabric there too. Sorry, Sass. And yellow. 
down with a little cross stitch. Okay, and then we're going to do is we're going to section out what we need there and get it all stitched up. Okay. Make sure our clamps are tight. Our threads are not in the way. We don't want anything hooking up. Okay. Yeah, it's a very pretty fabric. That's lovely. Absolutely lovely. All right, now I'm just going to section it out. And draw my boundary. And I'm going right to where the previous stitches were, just in case I can squish the pattern in there a little bit. Okay, and I want to kind of keep a consistent distance away from the base stitch. Okay. And then I'm coming just below. I'm kind of like clicking right about here, right? I'm clicking right about on this spot here as I go along. Okay. And I'm clicking the button like crazy because I got a little laser right down in the center of where my needle drops. And it, it guides me of where I've clicked and I keep that as my little boundary. Okay. And then we're just going to pop the pattern in. So. Okay. All right. Now. Real time. Oh, that's right, it goes from the other end. <clears throat> and then it's just gonna stitch that cable in the same direction. So I do have some footage of the other side uh, being stitched out one of the other ends. So uh, if you want, you can zone out and watch that for a little bit. But this has been a fantastic project. Thank you, Miss Allison. Greatly appreciate it. And they will be off in the mail tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, Yes, yeah, so thank you. Thank you very much. Hope everybody has a fantastic day. Big hugs to you and your family. And thank you, everybody, for your love and support and care and, and wishing us well during that hurricane. And, we, of course, we wish all of our uh, American friends from Florida all the way up to Carolinas that were affected by uh, Hurricane Ian. You know, if you need anything, just reach out to us. We'll see if we can help you, okay? So big hugs to you. Hope everybody's okay.